and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Athlon Argos BTR Gen 2. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Athlon Argos BTR Gen 2 6 to 24 by 50. Now, this optic has a ton of features that the long range shooter on a budget is going to love. Let's get into it. So we have a 6 to 24 uh, magnification range. We have the 50 millimeter objective, 30 millimeter tube, illuminated reticle, um, really positive and extremely audible turrets. <laughs> I mean, something like I have never seen in any optic at this price range. A zero stop. I mean, get out of here. That's just awesome. Uh, and a pretty darn good reticle. Oh, and an illumination. So it has pretty much all the ticket features that you're gonna look for. So let's start this review off with the glass quality. Now at this price, Athlon really is doing well for glass quality. It's definitely not on the lower side of the $400, $450 price point. It's really where it should be. Now have a look for yourselves. This is at six magnification. And this is at 24 magnification. So for glass, we're definitely gonna give it a five out of five. Next, we have the eye relief. Well, at the highest setting, it has 3.3 inches of eye relief. And at the lowest, it definitely feels more like four contrarily to what they advertise. Uh, the eye box is actually pretty decent. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, it's a, let's say if you don't have your eye perfectly centered, it goes to a slightly dark, um, slightly dark picture. That's what I'm referring to when I'm talking about how tight the eye box is. And this one is pretty good. Uh, additionally, the fast focus eyepiece is very smooth. And let's see if there's any slop. None, none, really, really nice. So you're gonna like that. So for the eye relief, for the reason that it only has 3.3 at the highest magnification, we are gonna give it a four out of five. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty darn good. I mean, and for most people, this is suitable. Next, we have the focus parallax. So on this side, we have our focus parallax dial, which starts all the way down at 10 yards, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 75, 100, 200, 500, and infinity. Now the numbers do closely match the numbers, the distance indicated. It's very, very close, but not quite. Now this dial is very smooth and there is no slop whatsoever. So that's really nice. Five out of five for the focus parallax. Next we have the recoil. Well, let's get out there and do a little bit of shooting at hundred yards and then we'll take it for some long range shooting. We're at 552 meters. Let's see if we can hit some steel with my 308. Now we're gonna try first on the big gong just to make sure that we're dialed correctly. Let's get our Kestrel out. Wind, let's calibrate the wind. All right, so we need to dial 4.5 MOA right. Okay, and we have to dial 17.3 MOA up. Now, having a zero stop is fantastic. So once I dial to 17, I wanna bring it right back. I just crank it and it stops right on the zero, which is something I love in a bit more expensive optics. 17.3. Alrighty, let's give her a whirl. <laughs>
right, 750 meters. How many MOAs up? 30. <laughs> I mean, we were at 18 MOA up at around 400. Now we're at 750 meters and I got to do 30 MOA up. Let's see. Well, let's see if we, uh, I think we have enough internal adjustment in the Argos. Pretty sure we do. Okay, let's start back at zero. Okay. 15. 30. <laughs> and it's calling for 4.5 to 5.8 in wind right. Let's start with 4.5 and let's give her a whirl. Now remember, when you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to make sure, like really make sure your velocity is spot on, or else I mean, you don't have a chance. Which comes down to either using really good premium ammunition or uh, doing your load development correctly, using the same brass, being consistent with everything, your seating depth, neck tension, all these little details that make a huge difference when it comes to, uh, well, group consistency. Now I, for one, don't always follow my own rules and I'm using mismatched brass, well, because it's really cheap and people leave it all over the place. So that's why I don't always have the best consistency <laughs> and my velocities, uh, yeah, obviously. We missed, obviously. Well, I kind of expected that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I was not aiming for that plate. Wow, that's uh, five MOA left. Gotta drag that bullet to the right. See? That's nuts! a blast we brought this optic out to 750 meters i mean at, at this point when this review was done when i was shooting that was the furthest i've ever brought my 308 and i was pretty darn surprised i was pretty i was really impressed with myself it's really fun to hit the steel gongs at that distance um the glass quality at that distance though uh I may have preferred a slightly more expensive scope to be able to see my hits a little bit better. So, uh, can it do it? Yes, you can. You could do it, no problem. But um, the glass maybe isn't quite that well suited. You might want to look for a slightly more expensive Athlon if that's what you wanted to do for the long term. And if you can, well, if you can justify a little bit bigger spending on the budget. So for recoil, we're going to give it a five out of five. Mind you, I'm not shooting it, shooting it on a 50 BMG. I just really can't afford to do that in my reviews. So five out of five. Next, we have the turrets. All right, so guys, these are wicked awesome turrets. They are super audible, super positive. They have a zero stop, but they only have 60 MOAs worth of internal adjustment, which at this price range is kind of slightly on the low side for the internal adjustment. Mind you, it's it's still you can still make do with 60. Put a 20 MOA rail on your optic, and I mean, you can still go really far. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Maybe if you're going for some extreme long range 22 LR, um, you might need a little bit more. So just keep in mind, this can only give you 60 MOAs worth of internal adjustment. Now listen to these turrets. These this is just golden. <laughs> Uh, 
I have never, mind you, I have never seen anything this audible and this positive at this price ever. And having a zero stop, like get out of here. That is awesome. That is something I've not seen at this price yet in any of our reviews. So anyway, let's get outside. Let's do a box test. Let's validate the tracking. Uh, let's see if there's any point of impact change with the magnification and we'll get back. Let's start with the box test. Let's go 10 MOA up. Perfect. Let's go 10 MOA right. Perfect. Back down. Perfect. All right, let's validate. All right, let's see if there's any point of impact change with magnification. Typically, that's where you'd see it. All right, let's do the tracking. Let's go 10 down. 10. 20. 30. 40. 50. Nice. Really good tracking. And that's the zero stop for you. It works really nice. It's a hard type zero stop, so it'll stop exactly where it's supposed to, and it won't go beyond. All right, let's validate the amount of internal adjustment. I'm gonna back up the magnification. And that's it. And that's it. All right, let's check the windage. That's as far as it goes. And that's as far as it goes. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to install the zero stop. So currently it's already installed, but I can still show you. So we're just gonna remove the turret cap. Now this here is your uh, zero stop assembly. You're just gonna need to loosen these set screws because typically when you buy it, it already comes installed. So if you were wondering why you didn't have as much internal adjustment as you should, this is actually gonna be stopping you from using, well, every last little bit of it. So just keep that in mind. So you see this little uh, point here. This is what's going to stop this uh, from turning. So when you install it, make sure it's hitting right against that. So we are gonna tighten this up. Okay. Reinstall the turret with our zero in line. And it's that simple. Now you just need to use your scope. So it did fine for the box test. Uh, the tracking is like pretty much like perfect. I mean, this is really, really good. I mean, you have only have 60 MOAs worth of internal adjustment, which is generally suitable. I mean, I was shooting out to 750 meters and I could have gone even further because I have a 20 MOA rail and well, that, used, that, would, that would theoretically give me 50 MOAs worth of internal adjustment to use. So if you do get the unit that is in milliradians, you'll have 18 um, milliradians in total to use. So that's windage and elevation. Uh, also, it goes in 15 MOA increments on the uh, turrets. So for one revolution, that's 15 MOA. And uh, if you have the milliradians at one, it, if you have the milliradian uh, scope, it's six mils per revolution. So for the turrets, um, mind you, there's only 60 MOA, but all the other features overshine that. So for that reason, we are going to give it a 5 out of 5. If the rest wasn't quite as good as it is, we likely would have given it a 4. 
So for the reticle, now we have an illuminated reticle. The gratings on this are really nice. If it's a slightly overcast day, you can crank this thing up to 11 and you will see an illuminated red reticle. And it is really, really nice. Uh, you do have two options in the 6 to 24 format. You have the a APLR2 and the APLR. And this is what they look like. And if you have the 1 to 8 version, I don't remember what that one's called, but it's not quite in the long range category. So, But anyway, this is what it looks like. So for the reticle, I mean, it's actually, I find the perfect thickness at, uh, at the full magnification. I definitely have not complained about that. It's really, really nice. You're gonna like that. So we are gonna give it a five out of five. This is a really nice reticle. You're likely gonna like it. All right, next we have the warranty. Now the warranty on the Athlon Optics is pretty much like most uh, modern day scope companies in this day and age that wanna make it. They have a lifetime warranty and it's really good. So we're gonna give it a five out of five. So do I recommend the Athlon Argos BTR Gen 2? Well, at this price, if this is the most you can afford, yes. I mean, by all means, pick one up. This is probably the best $400 scope that I have ever seen. Um, these turrets are fantastic. The glass is really good. Uh, you have a zero stop. I mean, once you, once you learn to use a zero stop, I mean, it is like you never ever wanna go back. There's like nothing better than not having to worry about passing your zero and you know, this is just really, really nice. And these turrets, listen to them. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in picking one up, check out the links in the descriptions below. I'll leave them there for you. Um, and if you're interested in joining our Facebook group, we have a Facebook community, Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Feel free to join there too. So thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews.